All right, we're doing the test fire on the Paniter avatar. Steel nib. Let me just write out the name here. I'm not very good at talking and writing at the same time. It's a medium steel nib, lipstick red. Got to do our swirls. Now it's a pretty stiff nib, made of steel. It's made by Peter Bach. Lines. Now there is so minimal line variation that it's not even worth saying that there is any line variation at all. Um, we have no problems with smoothness. Let me write out the alphabet. dot there you go so I'm gonna categorize these lines as either Euro Asian and just all over the place nonsensical crazy this one here is more of an Asian medium than it is a European medium medium in terms of flex there's three categories it's either gonna be none some or full this one is closer to none and for smoothness I'm gonna either make it glassy smooth feedbacky or nails on a chalkboard I'm doing my best here folks this one is going to be categorized more so as feedbacky now in the past I've always graded plus minus or equal against the pen that I'm going to compare it against in this case I'm going to compare it against the Paniter a grand Balletza, but this time when I grade it, be advised, I am going to grade the pen that is not the star of the show against the Paniter Avatar. This one's a fine 18 karat steel, softer nib made of gold, so it does offer more line variation than our Paniter Avatar medium steel nib. It's almost two and a half times the length, and we have no problems here, no ink starvation issues, nothing in regard to skipping baby's bottom or whatnot. I know my handwriting is terrible. I'm facing somewhat of a time constraint. Let's put that one down. And we're going with the Rembrandt by Visconti. I think that's how you spell the dude's name. Heard he was good at drawing stuff. Medium steel nib. Now this nib is significantly thicker. It is way wetter than our avatar as you can see in the swirls. Swirls do not lie. Now, despite this being a steel nib, observe as it does offer more line variation than your average steel nib. I do enjoy writing with this pen. Every once in a while gives you the occasional skip. Uh, we're going to go to the grading later on. Let's break out a Parker Sonnet. All right, that skipping from the Parker Sonnet, be advised, is simply because it is just about out of ink. This one also is an 18 karat. It's a gold nib, and it is a fine. Let's break out some swirls. And some line variation there, not much. For a gold nib, I have to say it's a pretty stiff nib. Let's do some alphabet. I hope every 
everybody enjoyed that game yesterday, the Super Bowl. That's why I didn't post it right away on Sunday. I like to post videos on Sunday. This week I'm doing it on Monday. I figured everybody would be watching the Super Bowl and therefore would not get a notification. All right, now we're whipping out a Laban celebration. Harvest yellow acrylic. Very beautiful pen. It's a fine steel nib. I really like this pen. I'm going to do a review on it soon. And it also is capable of swirls. Very minimal, nominal amount of line variation. These nibs are also made by Peter Bach. I spoke to the head honcho at Laban USA. And he was very forthcoming about who makes the nibs and whatnot. Very gracious in conversation. And finally, one of my favorites, the Edison Collier. This one has an 18 karat fine steel nib. It is gold and some more swirls. And a slight line variation, a little more than you get with any of the steel nibs or the Parker. Okay, there's our alphabet. Now, time to grade it. If you saw a cut there, it's because the camera ran out of batteries and I had to uh, switch out. Okay, now, as you can see, the La Grande Bellezza, I think in terms of line width, is equal to the Paniter Avatar. The Paniter Avatar is more of a finer line than what you would normally see in a Western nib. Now, over here, oh, there we go. More flex than the steel nib of the uh, Avatar, and it is definitely smoother than the Paniter Avatar. The Visconti Rembrandt medium is much thicker, so I'm going to put a plus for the Rembrandt being thicker at a medium steel nib. It definitely has more line variation, more flex than the Avatar, and the Rembrandt also is much smoother than the Avatar, Avatar having more feedback. The Sonnet is going to have a finer and thinner line than the Avatar. It's going to have about equal amount of flex, even though it's gold, which is kind of interesting. And with regard to smoothness, I would have to say that they are equal. They both have the feedback. I particularly like, you may not. The Laban Celebration Steel is much finer. When it comes to flex, I would have to say they are just about equal in terms of line variation. And with regard to smoothness, it is less smooth than our star of the show, the Avatar. The Acolier. This one's tough. They're so close. Drum roll, please. And I'm going to go with equal. With regard to the flex, I would say I would say it's obviously more. If you saw another cut there again, the battery's giving me problems. And finally, smoothness. I would have to say that they are slightly different, but the Collier being just a little bit smoother than the Avatar. Now, I hope you help. I hope this helped. That is your test fire of the Avatar.